Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. And uh, yeah, so after I finished uh, Battlefield 4, um, I figured I'd go on to a new, to another game. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Hmm, <laughs> that's the next game. And um, I want to let you guys know, of course, I already played this game, but I want to, you know, you know, uh, give it a, give it a, like a little, um, like a first time, like a first time, uh, play. Technically, it's not my first time playing, but, you know, I, uh, well, let's just say that I deleted my save data, well, before I deleted my save data, I, uh, copied all my data onto my USB flash drive. So, yeah. It's a 32 gig. So, anyway. So, I'm starting fresh, fresh new. Now, I'm starting fresh new, and uh, yeah. So let's delve into it. Let's read the backstory first. For us, there is no victory, Snake. There lived a man who was a legend among mercenaries, a man who put together a formidable unit of soldiers of fortune long before the advent of private military companies that dared to call itself a nation. A man who, with his nation at his back, made an enemy of modern capitalist society and the world. This is his story. Known by codenames such as Snake and later Big Boss, he proved himself as an agent of US Special Forces Unit Fox. But a certain incident spurred him to part ways with the military and he is said to have roamed the world's war zones as a gun for hire. In 1974, Snake and his par partner, Kazuhiro Miller, were running a small mercenary profit in Colombia when they were visited by a man claiming to be a professor from Costa Rica's University for Peace. According to this professor, he had been several incidents involving a mysterious armed group in Costa Rica, a country without a military of its own. The professor was accompanied by one of his students, a girl named Paz, who had been abducted and assaulted by this group. The professor and Paz offered to hire Snake to drive the group out of Costa Rica. However, Snake saw through their deception in an instant. We're not mercenaries, we're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business, a new kind of business. Miller. The professor was actually a KGB agent, an armed group in question backed by the CIA. The Cold War was no stranger to such overseas clandestine operations between US and Soviet agents, but the CIA's motives were a mystery. Haas had escaped from one of the CIA's group's facilities with a cassette tape. On it was the wo voice of a woman known as the Mother of Special Forces, the Boss. With a popular song from 1973 playing in the background, it was reasonable to conclude that the recording was made recently. Snake was stunned. The boss was supposed to be dead. What was she doing in Costa Rica? The boss was Snake's mentor, and the only woman he had ever loved. But ten years prior, Snake was forced to take the boss's life as part of a mission. A bitter memory that still haunted him. Despite realizing that she simply could not have survived, Snake was unable to turn a professor down. Telling himself he was intervening as a deterrent for a defenseless country, as well as to honor the virtue of Paz's name, Peace, Snake departed for Costa Rica. Once there, he ran into a unit of the, of the Sandinista Li National Liberation Front that has fled from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. After rising up against the pro-American Somoza regime, these rebels had become target for the CIA group who killed their commandante and left the, set, the unit in shambles. Snake rescued the Sandinistas and invited them back to the mother base, the new offshore base of operation provided to them by the KGB. The fallen commandante's children, Amanda and Chico, saw something of their hero, Che Guevara, and Snake and grew to idolize him. This triggered a rapid expansion of Snake's forces. However, he was still no closer to discovering the, what the CIA was really up to with Costa Rica. Snake then encountered Huey, a wheelchair bounded scientist being forced to work for the CIA. Huey, re 
Huey revealed the CIA's pl terrifying plot. They were developing a system by which, following radar detection of an enemy nuclear launch, an AI would analyze all available data and automatically execute a retaliatory nuclear strike at appropriate targets. Although designed to increase the power of nuclear deterrence, Coleman, the CIA's Central American Station Chief, planned to actually launch a nuke to demonstrate the effectiveness of a automated retaliation. This demonstration was only five days away. Snake rushed to the development lab to stop their AI from being completed. Upon infiltrating the lab, Snake was greeted by the voice of the, from the tape, the same voice of his lost mentor, but this was in fact the voice of a retaliatory systems AI. Its developer, Dr. Strangelove, has selected the boss, the so-called greatest soldier who ever had lived, as the AI's intellectual model. However, succumbing to personal obsession, Strangelove had deviated from the research original purpose. Not only had she reproduced the boss's voice, she was on the verge of bringing her psyche back to life in AI form, driven by a bizarre kind of love. What if the boss could truly be reviewed in every detail, if only in AI form? Snake hesitated as Strangelove's idea touched his sense of loss. His guard down, Snake was immediately captured. The boss AI was completed, and Peace Walker, the nuclear equipped walking battle tank housing his retaliatory AI system, went active. <clears throat> Snake fought in vain as, as Peace Walker prepared, prepared to fire the nuke. But in the face of catastrophe, it was ultimately a machine that saved mankind from nuclear annihilation. The boss AI sank Peace Walker to the bottom of Lake Nicaragua, stopping the launch. With the, with the crisis behind him, Snake took advantage of his recent mobilization to continue Mother Base expansion indef indefinitely. Snake understood that the AI had acted to save the world but did not change the fact that this system, based on the boss's mind, had chosen at last to lay down its weapon. As a weapon itself, Snake felt the act to be a rejection of his life. Undeterred, Snake and Miller invited doctors Huey and Strangelove to base to develop Metal Gear Zeke, a bipedal weapon they eventually equipped with a nuclear warhead suddenly making their unit a nuclear power. Meanwhile, Mother Base took in Paz, already an orphan but now left without even her KGB benefactor following the end of the crisis. However, this was all engineered as an intelligence agency known as Cypher. Under Cypher's orders, Paz got close to Amanda, Chico, and the others while exploring more and more of the base, secretly plotting to hijack Zeke. Her objective was to use the weapon as a bargaining chip to force Snake into becoming the military arm for Cypher. Paz's attempt failed when Snake defeated Zeke, and she was thrown beneath the waters of the, Car of the Caribbean. It was only then that Snake learned Chico had fallen in love with her. A diary she kept while on the base was discovered several days later. It revealed a young girl torn between serving Cypher and following her heart. Perhaps due to Paz revealing the existence of Snake, Snake's new decipher, the International Atomic Energy Agency contacted Mother Base to request that it would agree to a nuclear inspection. If word got out that Snake's unit had a nuclear weapon, it would face severe criticism from around the world. But Huey, acting on his own, informed the IAEA that Mother Base would allow the inspection. His reasoning was that as long as they kept Zeke and his nuke hidden from the inspectors, they could demonstrate to the international community that they were not a threat. The option to call out the inspection have expired. Snake and his men reluctantly got preparations underway. Meanwhile, Amanda deployed to Cuba to assist the Sandinistas learned that Paz had survived. The timing could not have been worse. Suspecting her of turning her back on the organization, Cypher had captured Paz and was interrogating her at the U.S. military base on the southern tip of Cuba. Chico learned of this and set out to save Paz himself. It was not long before a radio message from Chico reached Mother Base, saying he ha too had been captured. With an idea 
as to Cypher's true identity, Snake could not allow what Chico and Paz knew to fall into their hands. Furthermore, if he could rescue Paz, he might be able to get information from her that would help him fight back against Cypher. On the eve of the nuclear inspection, Snake made the decision to leave for Cuba. Hence, Ground Zeroes. Now, Oh yeah, this is uh, Paz's diary. Uh, you can, if you uh, play Peace Walker, you can actually listen to all these. Anyway, before we before we get into this, let's let's uh, listen to all of them. This is a one-man infiltration mission, boss. Equipment is the bare essentials. Anything else will be OSP. The target location is a prison camp on a U.S. military base. Those Marines have the place locked down tight. Your only backup will be one extraction chopper. We can't send anything else. You won't need to. Again, this is infiltration, a sneaking mission. Your number one priority is remaining undetected. Use discretion before engaging any guards you encounter. Be mindful of their sensory perceptions, sight, sound, smell, and pain. Fortunately, these atmospheric conditions will continue until dawn. That should provide you with some cover. At least the weather's on my side. All right, now mission objectives. Your mission objective is to rescue Chico and Paz. According to Chico, they're both being held at an old prison facility. Recon from the intel unit supports this, so it's safe to assume that's where they are. Once you've gotten them to the RV, Call in the extraction chopper. I'll monitor the situation and offer guidance from here. But you'll be the one in the field. How you handle this mission is entirely up to you, boss. Right. Now, brief one. Snake, yesterday we received official communication from the IAEA. It says, It has come to our attention that your organization recently purchased nuclear fuel from Uzbekistan authorities. We request permission to inspect your facilities. What a load of bullshit. Yeah, they're after Metal Gear Zeke's nuclear warhead. I'm betting this is payback from Cypher after Paz's leak. Using the UN. There's no telling how much influence they have. But the IAEA can only do inspections in countries that are party to the NPT. And we're not a country. Exactly. We haven't signed a safeguards agreement with the IAEA over peaceful nuclear use, and we're not obligated to report any nuclear material we have, nor information about any nuclear facilities. The IAEA has no authority to inspect us. But despite all that... That nuke's our last line of defense. We don't want to announce we have it until the world is preparing to wipe us off the map. Until then, we let everyone think we're just a private army with conventional firepower. What's Huey's take? That the problem's how to hide the nuke in Metal Gear. But I gotta tell you, he was all for it. I see. But there's no way we can have the IAEA poking around here. So what do we do? Ignore them? Send them an official letter of refusal. Say that we're a private organization and we've done nothing to attract this suspicion. You got it. All right. Hold on. to turn it up. Okay, brief two. We finished Zeke's waterproofing reinforcement yesterday. The day after tomorrow, we'll be done installing the main depth control tank, the compressed air tank, and the attitude control propeller pod. Huey. If the underwater test goes well, next week we'll try the 300-foot seabed depth. Drop the act, Huey. How do we end up agreeing to the nuclear inspection? Because after you sent that letter, I told them... After careful reconsideration, we agree to your request. And, frankly, we should be inspected. This is our chance. If they come and go without discovering the nuke, we can tell the world we're clean. Of course, it's risky, and we'll have to make sure everything's perfect, but it'll be worth it. Huey, can they do an inspection without going through the Board of Governors? 
We contacted the IAEA's admin branch, and they said there's no record of us being brought up at any of the board's meetings. I'd say probably a preliminary inspection to determine whether we should be referred to the board. So it's bound to be a small inspection team, and they won't be here that long. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. Has the media gotten wind of this? Yeah. Two major Western networks want to do stories on us. I planned on saying yes. What? You want to broadcast this place to the world? That's why I agreed to the inspection. This is a golden opportunity. We can use the media to prove to the world we don't have a nuke. Besides, even if we said no, it would just be delaying the inevitable. Ugh, Kaz, our hands are tied now. Start getting the place ready. Thanks, boss. Don't get the wrong idea. You've set it up so that any more changes of heart will arouse suspicion, that's all. <sighs> Zeke stays. But we'll have to move all other AFVs to shore. Any potential troublemakers can go with them for some mandatory R&R. Sound good, boss? Just do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Brief number three. About the inspection. What do we tell the men? The truth. What else? The one thing we don't need to worry about is anyone here spilling the beans about Zeke. Good point. What about the Sandinistas? There's still quite a few of them left on the base. I hate to say it, but it won't look good having Soviet block personnel here. The problem is, moving a group that size in a hurry would look even worse. <sighs> At least Amanda's on assignment in Cuba. They'd recognize her. She should stay put for now. All civilians save Huey will have to return to their countries. Even your Parisian? Of course. We'll get her whatever paper she needs. Dr. Strangelove's departure came at a perfect time. The less Zeke-related staff here, the better. Wait, she left? That's right. You were away on a mission. She left last week. There's nothing cooking in AI weapons research, and Zeke is complete. There was really no reason for her to hang around. I'm surprised Huey let her go that easy. Yeah, his crush on Strangelove was never much of a secret, huh? He followed her everywhere while Zeke was in development. Boy, would she get pissed. But he does have a lot on his mind right now. I've got bigger issues to deal with. That's what he said. That's the spirit, Huey. Yep. And brief number four. Ten days ago, we got reports that Poss was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Paz could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil, and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The U.N.'s nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Paz's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involves bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. If not us, who else is gonna rescue that bitch? When do we do it? The inspection comes first. We'll deal with us afterwards. Do the men know? Word has started to spread. The information came from Cuba through Amanda. One of the base personnel used to belong to El Frente. I'll tell everyone we don't concern ourselves with the survival of enemy spies. We need them focused on the inspection. And if we get her back here and she isn't cooperative, there's still plenty of room for her in the ocean. Works for me. What about Chico? He had a chance to stop Paz from hijacking Zeke and he blew it. He's carried that guilt ever since. Kid really did care about her. Chico, it's hard to say how he'll react. Have Amanda call him out to Cuba. He shouldn't be here right now. Good idea. They haven't seen each other in a while. Little time with Big Sis and he'll forget all about you know who. Mm-hmm. Brief number five. What? Still no sign of Chico? What's going on? It's Amanda in Cuba. Our resupply package arrived, but Chico wasn't with it. Relax, Amanda. I'm sure he's just exploring Havana or something. 
First time in the big city. Could have gotten carried away. Koss, wait. The boat Chico was on, did it stop anywhere before it got to Havana? Yeah, it had to refuel at Santiago de Cuba. You don't think... Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. He does this now? It's 60 miles from Santiago to the prison camp. Chico used to cross the mountains with the older Sandinistas like it was nothing. He'll make that in three days. Still, even if he does find his way there... You know how reckless he can be. Chico thinks we've abandoned Paz. That's why he's doing this. We'll start by having the intel detachment in Cuba look for him. We can't let him be captured. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Brief number six. There's some cages to the east of a big building. East an old grassy facility. That's where we are. Help me, Snake. It's a setup. We have no choice. Yeah. If Chico talks, he could blow the new cover up. We can't hold off until the inspection's over. When can we be ready? It'll take at least 16 hours to confirm the flight path and prep a bird. The intel unit has started reconning the area. Sounds like I'll have to miss the inspection. Boss, we'll just have to send someone else to get them out. No. I'll go. Yeah. Chico and Paz would only take orders from you anyway. We can't go taking on those Marines at the base head-on. It's got to be off the radar, and it's got to be you. Hold down the fort, Koss. All right. Last, yep, last one for mission intel. Snake, you can forget about civil liberties where you're headed. God only knows what they'd do to you if you got caught. Do not let that happen. The Cubans leased the land to the U.S. as a gesture for helping them gain independence from Spain. The deal remains in effect until both countries agree to dissolve it, or the U.S. abandons the land. That's why America still operates the base even after La Revolución. Problem is, it's leased land. Meaning it isn't American soil, so the U.S. Constitution doesn't apply there. That allows them to withhold its civil rights protections. Yeah, that's Uncle Sam's excuse. The area was originally only for detaining refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. But a few years ago, the CIA and its likes started using it as a black site. Enemies of the state are renditioned there and subjected to extreme forms of interrogation. You can bet Cypher had a hand in that. As you'd expect, American and other Western human rights organizations aren't allowed anywhere near the place. What happens there disappears down the memory hole. Who knows what they're doing to Chico and Paz? I'd like to interrogate her ourselves, but if worse comes to worst, make sure she's dead. Chico, on the other hand, we have to bring back. Fast. He knows too much about us. Cos. The area is surrounded by mines placed by both the U.S. and Cuba, making escape on foot impossible. You're heading into the lion's den, Snake. Don't take this one lightly. Come back in one piece. Yeah. And I plan to. Yeah, this is... Oh yeah, this is Paz's uh, spy log. We'll just play this one first. I heard about Paz's tapes. Yeah. Why do you think she'd leave him behind? And that diary? Whatever it was, her commitment was wavering. That much is clear. So she was leaving clues to help us? No way to know for sure. And the ocean's not giving her back. Yep. Okay, well, we'll save these for another rainy day. For now, let's let's get started. Mission Ground Zeroes. Rescue Mother Base member Chico and High Value Target Paz from a U.S. Naval Prison Facility and escape the mission area by chopper. Yes. In an era when the world was still divided into East and West, the boss, mother of Special Forces, and hero of the World War II defected to the Soviet Union. Under orders from the U.S. government, her final apprentice, Naked Snake, took her life. 
but for the boss, her defection was no more than a cover. She was made to sacrifice herself to prevent the nuclear war. That was her final mission. The boss used Snake to ensure that the philosopher legacy, the vast military fund under Soviet army control, would reach America. For these understanding accomplishments, Snake was awarded the title of Big Boss. After turning his back on America, Snake began recruiting soldiers with the help of Kazuhiro Miller, the man he first met in the war zone. In 74, the pair constructed a secret base in the Caribbean. Snake's private army continued to grow and attain the nuclear weapon. Okay. Meanwhile, Major Zero, the man once worked with Snake to create the special unit force unit Fox and philosopher. I can't read. And yeah, Cypher. No military of his own, Zero longed to return rejoin his old comrade snake and send his operative to to make contact Pos attempted to steal the nuke of yeah, and she was ejected out of the cockpit okay there we go you guys can read it trailer back in 2013 when it was revealed as the universe of five ground zero. Told us everything. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. Here, you earned it. How's it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Ricardo, Chico. Yeah, just Chico. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Copyright music. Don't know if I'll be able to be allowed to for this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mute the Elgato uh, just so I don't get copyright striking or anything. Dun, dun. Uh, here's to you. It's <clears throat> I remember first hearing it in MGS4. It was a very powerful ending to that game. Okay, here we are. Okay. Yeah, just until uh, I'm just gonna mute it and just until um, uh, until Snake and Ka starts uh, talking, you know, on their respective dialogues. Ten days ago, okay. we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's, what's the plan? plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. <clears throat> Our friends at Cypher suspect Paz could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black Site. Black Site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil. 
and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The upcoming inspection of Mother In other words, has to be committed to somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's link. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved, bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Your triumph is to you, Nicola and Bob. Rest forever here in our hearts. Okay, I'm gonna mute that segment. Just so I don't get copyrighted, and I really don't want to be, don't want to be singing it. Nicola and Bart, as forever here in our hearts. As a heart of human, do 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 do. Fox, but spelled backwards. Trojan horses in. You know, the lens flare is actually a very nice touching, but this, uh, it just makes it look like you're watching a J.J. Abrams film. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Right. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. And we just did. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission means backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. Detail they put into it, like, like it. snake. Formerly Kept you waiting, huh? Once known by the code name Big Boss. Caper settlement. I wasn't too skeptical uh, when they showed that when they were when they said that they were gonna. Uh, but then again, uh, David Hayter was really trying hard to uh, voice Big Boss in Peace Walker and in and Snake in MGS4. But I suppose a change-up wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Eh, 
Ah, uh, the iDroid. Decoy pods are being held in an old unused part of the compound. iDroid is made up of... Get inside and head northeast. iDroid is made up of, uh, an iPhone and an Android. Mission info has been updated. Okay. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. So, like I said, Before I've already played further, it, but because of my microphone bugging out, uh, gonna have to play, replay it all over again. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. Okay. Uh, no, I don't need these weapons. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. You guys. You see their choppers? Who are they with? It's me, man. Green berets, seals. Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramilitary setup? Well, some of the guys are saying... You know what? Best we just drop this, right? Uh, sure. Okay. If you ready your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. You gotta scout the area first, you know, just to be, make sure that you can mark up as many enemies as you can. I know you want the squirrel, but no, you just ain't, you ain't going out. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. You should move the bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. Yeah, there's a... Uh, here. Uh oh. 
random. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there was an... I'm pretty sure there's an enemy somewhere right here, but I wasn't able to see him through the, uh... Up from the cliff from where I was at. Oh no! But there's a prisoner there, I just remembered. Okay, I don't need snow about hand grenades. Okay, good night. Okay, let's get the prisoner out of here. A prisoner. You gonna help him? Come on. If you want to extract him, carry him to the RV and call in the chopper. Please uh, select a landing. Landing zone confirmed. Okay. Up. Back. Roger up. that chopper request. It's headed your way now. I'm guessing you didn't come here just to save my ass. All right? Nope. This will help with whatever you're doing. Hey, you are inside the admin building. Here's the drainage channel. The map has been updated. Alright. Just gotta wait for the helicopter. Which... It's right there. It's on its way. Let's get up to higher ground and survey the area more. CP, this is Delta 4. We're standing down here. No hostile spotted. Over. Okay. This is CP. Understood. All fire teams, 
Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Quiet. It's good to it's good to actually uh, you know take the time and uh, look look around make sure there's you be able to mark up it. Uh, any enemies? Hmm. Okay. Now. Map. I'm right here. I have to go right there. So. Yeah. It's over there. I wonder, can I actually shoot these lights out? There we go. Much better. Got him. There we go. 
There he is. Chico. Chico. Hey. It's me. Yo, Chico, it's me. Chico, it's me. No! No! Go away! Hey, go away! Get no. off! Get me out of here, please! Get off please. me! Get Chico, off! Chico, keep it down! Go away! Uh oh. Right over here. Hey, hey, you gotta let me over out. Here. You let me out, go! Get off me! Get off! Oh, quiet the fuck down. Get off. Chico, calm down. Calm down. Don't fight it. Choke his ass out. I got Chico. Head boss? Not here. Not here. Are you sure? Absolutely Pretty sure. sure. Is Chico able to walk? Hold on. Not gonna happen. No. You'll have to carry him out there. Okay, boss, change oh your plans. Oh my god, when I first Paul, saw that, I was like, oh. We'll get Paz's whereabouts like, out of I him once he's calmed down. I know the pain of having... You ever pinch your Achilles, like, from where <laughs> they are? Oh my god, I, I could just imagine. I just can't imagine okay, the pain of what, having those bolts in the Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Chico, where is Paz? Chico, where is Paz? Um, she's dead. When was this recorded? She's dead. Now use your eye droid to call the chopper for pickup. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Okay. Roger. Dispatching chopper. That's right over there. It's going to be a while ago. Who's that? 
God knows what the hell they're doing to her right at this point. Just gotta go hide behind here and then grab it. Chico left the tape on record while he was being moved. Try using what you hear to find Paz. If you're still not sure, listen to the tape again. That sound. A flag fluttering. Next, they headed for a place with a helicopter.
Come on. Oh no! Oh fuck, I forgot about that one. Are so good. Hey, we get confirmation of that garbage disposal yet? Yeah, they just took care of it. All right, heading back up top. Stay here and keep watch. You got it. Double agent whose true alliances are unknown. Hmm. 
Alright, right, time to get the, get her out here. Yeah, when I first noticed, when I first played this game, I noticed that the uh, the sights when you uh, when you aim in third person mode, I noticed that the sights are a little bit off. You need to to compensate it. You need to like uh, you need to like uh, aim a little bit to the to the left. Like for example, okay, um, I'll show you. Say if I'm gonna hit him with a headshot right there. But it's not gonna hit him directly. I have to, Stay I have away. to aim it to aim for his head at long distance. I have to do aim it like some somewhere around right there, just a little off center. Okay. No. Fuck. Damn. Gonna have to help you break anything. Gonna have to take the Shoot the shoot the damn chopper down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. This is Morpho, on station at LZ.
course. My first playthrough, I got an S. But an A, uh, I'll take it. An S. You know, I got caught two times, but you know. I would have got a higher score if I had, had no reflex and escaped. Oh, yeah, well, I escaped the prisoners recovered. There we go. The infamous scene. Snake! Medic! Medic. She's rigged. Damn it, we were set up! We gotta get it out. Don't no time for anesthetic. We have to open her now. Hold her down. Hold her down. Hold her down!
think they should have made this part like a, a playable part. You know, you can touch on the ground and get to the battle with the alongside the ground. But only with a limited amount of ammo. And then once you're out, Walker, all gone in flames. Inspections, nothing but a military strategist and privatization advocate. Heard explosions. Mm -hmm. They played us like a damn fiddle. Give it back. This is a right that was ours. We built it, damn it. You spy, bitch. Come on, start talking, bitch! Come on, get up and start talking! Bob, there's... It's all right, we got it out. Two helicopters colliding? No, no one would have survived that. Smoke from disaster was visible from the coastline. Media blame money mining private militias and scandal for the U.S. finger as one of the organized top clients. And the sec Secretary of Defense, neither the U.S. nor its allies had any hand in the incident. The IAEA visited the site. However, the UN and IEA insist that no such inspection took place. Other countries among the organization long list declines avoid comments altogether. Casualty figures uncertain, no known survivors. However, the, in the moments prior to and following the incident, several unidentified hel military helicopters were sighted in the area. They were there for Zeke and the nuke. Mm -hmm. Your favorite song. Nicola Bart. Immigrants wrongly executed. But their deaths served as a message to others. That ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world?
do, do. Oh, here's to you. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get copyright from from this for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna edit the whole thing out as soon as I uh, get it uh, into editing. Here we are at the post credits. Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him face to face in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak. I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. Uh, all right. Zero is... Zero is what? Where? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the timeline. Yeah, when I first heard about that, I, I, I was like, where? Where's Zero? Where, where is Zero? What is Zero? What has become of Zero? It wasn't until we get to, it wasn't until there was a tape in the Phantom Pain that tells where Zero is, but, uh, that will, that will have to be at a later time when I get to play Ground Zero of uh, the Phantom Pain. Yeah. To be continued in the Phantom Pain. Of all but You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like, like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. One thing is why are we still here? Just to suffer. There you go. We have a little glimpse of the Phantom Pain. Well, basically like a, basically more like a, a little trailer for what the Phantom Pain is gonna be. But uh, yeah. And there you have it. That's the Phantom. That's the Ground Zero's mission. Basically, it's just a prologue mission to uh, the the phantom pain 
the main game of Metal Gear Solid 5. So yeah, um, well, I can go, well, I'm not gonna play the Phantom Pain, uh, yet. I'm gonna be playing some, later I'm gonna be playing some side ops, you know, one, two, three, four. These two, um, these two can only be unlocked when I, when I collect all those XOF badges that I missed. I'm only missing three, so I'm probably gonna have to, so I'm probably gonna, you know, play this, play the camp mission again uh, on my own time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, see ya. Okay, finally, now I can... After going over all the data we've compiled, that looks like the last XOF unit patch. Boss, get back to the mission.